I would like to congratulate you for celebrating 120 videos for the past five years. Justin Television, you're doing great. Keep it up, whatever it is you're doing for the YouTube um, videos. You're a serious, consistent, hard worker, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my all videos previously, upcoming newcomers. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Comment down my YouTube channel, subscribe, and check out my upcoming videos for the past this week. Game unboxing, game information, gaming announcements, and more. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I love you guys out there. Thank you and giving me the support and time I need for achieving 120 videos for the past five years. I've worked so hard, try my best to stay consistent as much as possible. Thank you guys for making this happen. Thank you. I would like to congratulate myself for 120 YouTube videos for the past five years. Stay tuned for more. Hey, what's up you guys? Justin Television here. I'm so happy and pumped. I would like to congratulate myself for celebrating 120 YouTube videos for the past five years. Congratulations to myself. I'm a serious, consistent, hard worker. I'm very happy to reach up this so-called videos. And for my YouTube channel, this is a celebration of me completing 120 YouTube videos for the past five years. I got more to come, sharing my gaming abilities, my personal life abilities, and it, and it's all thanks to you guys for being such a great audience, looking at my videos, commenting on my videos, and getting views per day. I appreciate you guys out there. I love you guys out there. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Comment down my channel and see my upcoming videos. I got a lot of upcoming videos this week, especially since new games are coming out this week I'm just so happy and fortunate to do all this I have a lot of technologies I need to get done when it comes to video editing and I have a lot of consistent time since I already graduated from college since I, I already graduated from college I'm very happy with my serious devoted hard work and I'm really really happy and consistently happy I can't believe it 120 YouTube videos for the past five years Congratulations to myself. Nice job. So anyway, you guys, I just, like I said, this is a talking celebration. This is not an eating celebration because I cannot eat and talk with my mouth full. That's very rude. Don't do that ever. So you guys, I'm very happy with my serious, consistent hard work. And since I'm a full-time YouTuber, I'll be able to do this almost like consistently every single day. And 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 I'm really, really happy for, for all the videos and all the views and some subscribers. I don't have that much subscribers yet, but like I said, it's best for people to add me who they truly know who I am. Not some random stranger adding someone they, they don't really, really know, in my opinion. But anyway, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. This is gonna be a half an hour celebration because whenever I get up to the celebrate celebrating videos like 120, 140, 160, 180, I'm counting by twos for my video celebrations. I'm counting by twos because it's more easier for me to remember when it comes to upcoming videos for my channels and the consistent amount of views and everything, which I'm really proud of myself for working this hard and being 100% consistent on top of things for my future self. So anyway, you guys, I just like to take a half an hour to talk about my succeed, my successes and my future endeavors, being a serious, consistent hard worker. Cause like I said, if I can be consistent, so can you. Be consistent in life, you guys. Be consistent and be proud. So in this video, celebration, not an eating celebration, again. So yeah, I'm just so happy and, and I'm becoming more fortunate to get a lot of gamings, a lot of goodies for my parents and myself because I save money to treat myself sometimes. So yeah, I've been doing some upcoming videos for, for the past, uh, this month, because like I said, I'm a full-time YouTube content creator. I'm full-time, consistent full-time since I already finished college, I already graduate, I'm a college graduate. My major was game design. I'm an associate supplier in science and game design. Uh, in three to four months, I get my degree because I asked one of my classmates at Hostos on Instagram, when do we get our degrees? And she told me like between three or four month, months, that's when we get it in the mail from our house. So I can't wait to get it. Once I get my degree, I will be happy enough to show you guys on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you guys my college degree. And I'm also gonna show you guys my high school diploma as well. 
but be alarmed when I show you guys my degrees and my diplomas. Some of the information is gonna be is gonna be pixelized. It's gonna be blocked for safety reasons, for safekeeping. So when I show you guys my high school diploma and my college degree diploma on YouTube, the next future video, if you see the information of the school or information about the teacher or the professor or the release date information for you getting your diploma on that particular day, you're gonna see that it's gonna be pixelized and it's gonna be blocked, like I said, for safety reasons. Cause I, I'm not really comfortable showing you guys my certificates, my certificates, my diplomas when it comes to school. I'm not comfortable showing. I only show it to my friends and family, but you gotta be careful, you guys. In my opinion, if you're gonna show your friends and family your high school diploma or college degree, be very, very careful because I used to go to this school. I'm not gonna mention the name or the people because like I said, I'm not a snitch. I'm not a rat, so I'm not gonna be a snitch. I used to go to this private school in Yonkers, but like I said, I'm not gonna mention the name or the people. You guys are gonna have to figure this out yourselves. I used to go to this private school in Yonkers. I'm not gonna mention the name or the people. You guys gotta figure it out yourselves. I used to go to this private school, right? And many, and many people from that school are so fucking stupid. They do stupidest things to, to think that they could get rewarded. They never suffer the consequences. They think that they, they're gonna get away with things in life by not getting in trouble. Cause one time in the school bus, this girl hit my, my, my brother from another mother. We, we live together. We live closer together. Um, this girl hit my brother from another mother and I went to his house to tell his parents and then the next day his parents went to school. I'm not gonna mention any names cause like I said, I'm, I'm no snitch. So yeah, um, this girl from my bus, she hit a boy. She hit my brother from another mother and, and I was really pissed off that she didn't got in trouble. She didn't got suspended from the bus. They didn't call her parents. They just let her get away with it because that school, they make bad kids get away with everything without getting in trouble. And they make good kids like me for telling the truth suffer the consequences, which is so stupid because why a school is gonna let bad kids get away with things in life and never suffer the consequences? I just think that's so fucking stupid for them to do that shit. That's why I really got the fuck out of that school. I'm never gonna be in that school again. I was in that school for a mistake because personally, I was supposed to start high school in the year 2007 and graduate from high school in 2011, but that didn't happen because I went to that bitch ass, pussy ass school that I was never ever supposed to be. And it was a mistake, I was so angry, I was so depressed. I needed to make an excuse to get the fuck out of that school so I could go back to Manhattan Village Academy High School again. I was going to Manhattan Village Academy after high school hours because I was in that stupid ass school in Yonkers. Like I said, I'm not gonna mention the name or the people. I'm not no snitch. I'm giving you the location, but not the, but not the names of the school and not the names of the people because I don't want to give them away. I could give you the location and you guys got to figure it out yourself. So anyway, when I was in that school, that girl hit my brother from another mother. She didn't got in trouble. She didn't got suspended. I was so fucking angry. I was angry as hell. And I did the right thing by going to his house and telling his parents about the situation that happened on the bus. And then the next day, his parents went to the school to discuss about the the inappropriate, the, the inappropriate behavior that happened to their kid. And I was really mad that they didn't do nothing. They let bad kids get away with things in life and never suffer the consequences, consequences, which is so stupid, stupid and ironic because people need to have consequences in life. You can't just let bad kids get away with things in life. Cause I believe in my opinion, when there's a bad kid, when there's bad children who always get angry thinking they could get whatever the fuck they want by being angry and doing stupid shit, that's not right. Cause everybody's supposed to have consequences for their actions. That person should get in trouble and learn their lesson. But in that school is so fucking stupid cause they do irrational things. They think they can beat each other up. They think they can fight. They think they can do everything, but in reality they're wrong. And that's another reason why I cannot show you guys my high school diploma and my college degree. Because like I said, I used to go to that school and you know what they're doing? They're plagiarizing all the high school's diplomas. They're putting all the high schools in jeopardy without the dean and the board of ed finding out the truth about, about how did this student get a high school diploma for not attending at that actual high school? Cause that's illegal. 
plagiarizing a high school diploma, it's illegal and fraud. You could you could go to jail or whatever, and you could get a bad reputation. I'd be reading the entire thing online because I'm really smart. I'm a college student. I, I have a lot of knowledge and a lot of education since I went to college. So yeah, this school that I used to go to, they do stupidest things. They let bad children get away with things in life. They let good kids like me and another good kid suffer the consequences for no fucking reason. And lastly, they're plagiarizing all the high school's diploma and putting all the high schools in jeopardy without them notifying it, without the deans know, knowing, and without the board of ed knowing as well. So like I said, in my upcoming YouTube video, when I show you guys my high school diploma and my college degree, the information of the school, the name of the school, and the name of the person is gonna be blocked. I'm gonna show you guys my degree, my diploma, but everything is gonna be, everything is gonna be blocked and pixelized for safety reasons. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my high school diploma and my college degree on my upcoming YouTube video. But the name of the school, the name of the teacher, the name of the principal, the board of ed, everything's gonna be blocked. In my high school diploma and my college degree, you're just gonna see my name, my full name, Catherine Hidalgo. You're just gonna see my name. You're just gonna see the, the endorsement stickers and you're just gonna see the date when I got the diploma, that's it. But the name of the school, the name of the teacher, the name of the principal, the name of the board of ed, everything is gonna be blocked for safety reasons, for safety reasons. Cause you never know the people from that dumbass, bitch ass, pussy ass school that I used to go for a mistake in Yonkers. Like I said, I cannot give you the name or the person. Cause like I said before, I'm no snitch. I cannot give you the name of the school, the name of the people or the name of the worker. I could just give you the location and you guys gotta find out yourselves. So anyway, that school is stupid. They do the wrong things all the time. They just like to get money and buy whatever they want without using the school's money, the, the Board of Education, and they disrespect all the rules. They just do whatever the fuck they want so they won't get in trouble. And plagiarizing all the high school's diplomas and putting all the high schools in jeopardy without the Board of Ed and without the Dean notifying it because I know a kid who got the diploma that says uh, um, Brooklyn, Techni uh, Brooklyn Technical Arts High School and that kid did not attend that high school. And then if that kid is planning to get a job or go to college, they're gonna need all the information of the high school that they went to. It's not just the diploma, they need everything. The high school diploma, the transcript, the region's examination grades, everything. Because if you just show them the high school diploma, they're gonna ask you, did you, they're gonna ask a lot of questions. They're gonna consistently ask you a lot of questions before they call, before they contact that school and said, did this person really attend to that school? And then when they find out the truth, no, then that person will not get a job or go to college because they found out the truth that that person legitimately, legitimately did not attend it to that high school. It was a fraud, it was a lie. Because all the high school deans, the principals and the board of ed keep a track of the students who actually did consistently went to that school. They keep a track of the student, they have the student's record and attendance, and they will know that person actually went to that school and they will know that that person didn't really attend to that high school. They will know right from the back they will call the contact, they will contact the Board of Education, the teacher, the professor to find out if that person legitimate, legitimate, it's hard for me to pronounce it, legitimately actually went to that high school. They will get all the contact information and they will tell the person the truth. The administrator, if you're attending college or getting a job, they will tell the boss job interviewer and the college administrator the truth about that student who legally did not attend that school. And that could cause problems by faking forgery, a high school diploma, which consistently that student did not really attend to that school. And that could leave a major consequence. And, 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 and that person, that student, or whoever that kid is, who's planning to go to college or getting a job, that person could go to jail for high school diploma fraud. It's a good thing I went to high school because if I didn't go to high school, like I said, if I was in that bitch ass, pussy ass school in Yonkers, I can't give you the name or the people. No snitch, no snitch. So anyway, yeah, 
that's illegal to plagiarize all the high school's diploma and they can find out the truth about that student not attending to that high school and it's going to cause some serious problems they will they will call that kid's parents they will they will call the kids' parents, they will bring the parents in for a parent-teacher conference and for plagiarizing something that doesn't belong to you, it could suffer minor consequences. You could either end up going to jail or, or you can never go to school or go to job for lying in your application. They wouldn't ex accept you if you lie. I mean, there's, there's other ways for people to get accepted for jobs and colleges if they lie, because some people are worried that if they lie, they might get in. But in reality, if you lie about something, you're not lying about that. You're actually lying about yourself. And that's not cool. Nobody would like a liar. People will like the truth. Serious truth. Okay, that's enough about that. The, the information about the high school diploma plagiarism fraud. Anyway, it's never a good idea to think that you actually went to that high school, but in reality, you didn't. And that's going to talk bad judgment about you if you always lie. Because like I said, when I used to go to that bitch-ass private school in Yonkers, they will always lie to get their way. And they will let good people like me or my brother from another mother suffer the consequences for no reason. For no reason. They will let good kids get in trouble and they will let the bad kids walk away. Which is so ironically fucking stupid. So anyway, you guys, as I said before, congratulate me for consisting amount of videos for that I did for my YouTube channel. I'm so happy, so pumped, so fortunate, and I'm always gonna do the right thing. I'm always gonna do the right thing no matter what happens. So it's been a pleasure doing a lot of this upcoming videos. This is my 120th YouTube video celebration episode. So yeah, like I said before, not an EDC not an eating celebration, a talking celebration about my serious achievements and my consistent hard work. So you guys, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Comment down my channel and subscribe. Thank you for watching and being supportive at this time. Thank you. I love you guys out there, friends, family, co-workers, and everybody that I knew from elementary school, middle school, high school, college, and in the future get a job watching my video because I always tell the truth about everything. People want the truth. People want to believe that person who always tell the truth all the time, who tells the truth, who does the right thing, and a serious, consistent, hard worker like myself. So anyway, you guys, I'm just so happy and proud for this 120th YouTube video episode. I'm just so happy, I'm consistently happy. I always do the right thing, keep working, staying consistent, make your family and friends proud of you for your consistent amount of hard work, for your consistent amount of hard work. So anyway, I still got 15 minutes left because this is a half an hour celebration. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of videos for the past five years now because my first video was, like I said, was on Thursday, February 26, 2015. My first video was Justin's Throwback Thursday video games. And that first video was just me explaining about Dragon Ball Xenoverse part one, about Trunks' history timeline that's been corrected, historic by the inconsistencies of time. So Trunks, Goku, and Goku's ally have to travel back in time to correct history from inconsistency timeline features. That was my first video that I announced about Dragon Ball Xenoverse Throwback Thursday video games. You can go to my previous videos since the year 2015, because that was the first video that I did for my YouTube channel. There was no editing. Oh, you guys. Sorry, I just burped. Excuse me. I'm very polite. So yeah, you guys. Look at my previous video since the year 2015. That was the only video that I did in February 2015 because in the year 2016, I started recording clips of Mean Girls, every single clip that I like from the movie Mean Girls. And then I started doing upcoming more videos in the year 2018 because I started getting an iPhone, a laptop from my mom and my sister. And my mom bought me a new iPhone, iPhone 11 which I'm using to record all my videos for my YouTube. I would love to record videos in my... I would like to record... Sorry, you had to hear the noise back there. So annoying. Uh, I, I would like to record all my videos in my laptop, but the problem is the laptop, the Pro MacBook, it's good to record videos, but sometimes it could get blurry and the quality, the, 
the camera quality and the recording quality is, is kind of blurry and it makes, sometimes it makes my videos recordings be inconsistent and the blurry and the pixels doesn't seem so good. So I'd rather just use the iPhone 11 or the iPad for a good quality video recording. And the, the video recording is so great, it's so light. You can see it, it's so light. It's not blurry, not pixel, pixelized. It's a good, consistent quality. So you can see yourself clearly when you record videos of your YouTube or your family's uh, festivities, birthdays pictures even the pictures has good quality too from the iphone 11. oh i got the iphone 11 last tuesday july 7 thanks to my mom mom i love you so much thank you for getting me a new electronic so anyway with the iphone 11 and the ipad oh i don't have an ipad yet you guys but i'm hoping to get one i'll ask my mom let's see what she has to say i would re i would Trust me, I wish to have a new iPad. I never got an iPad before. I never got the first iPad when it came out. I'm hoping, I wish. God, if you hear my wish, I wish to get a new iPad, I wish. Because with the iPad and the iPhone 11, with the good camera quality and the consistent amount of angles, you will be able to record everything nicely, good quality and good picture taking because when you take a picture especially when you take a picture far away and when you zoom it in it doesn't show the pixel pixelization it doesn't show the pixelized the inconsistent moves it is so good quality and it's perfect like 100 percent perfect really really perfect when it comes to iphone 11 and a new ipad to get the good quality camera consistent amount of angles without the pixel the pixel lines and, and everything make it blurry or inconsistent for the camera capturing angles from each from each trajectory angle from from iphone 11 and ipad cameras okay you guys if you find this video satisfying comment down my youtube channel and subscribe this is my 120th youtube episode celebration I'm so proud of my consistent hard work. I never worked this hard, just 120 videos for the past five years. Congratulations, Justin. Justin is a serious, consistent hard worker. I'm very proud of myself. And I'm so happy to be a college graduate because I really finished school. I love school, but to me, I feel like in my 30s, I don't wanna go to school anymore. Going to school when you get older and older, it could sound a little bit embarrassing. So in my 30s, I prefer to get a job once I get my college degree in the mail. Cause like I said, in my upcoming YouTube video, I will show you guys my high school diploma and my college degree, but some of the information is gonna be blocked. It's gonna be pixelized. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be censored. It's, it's gonna be censored. You cannot see it. Cause I don't wanna give all the information out. Cause like I said, the private school that I went to in Yonkers, I'm not mentioning the names or the people, just the location, they used to do the wrong things all the time. And, and if they plan to see my video, if I show them all the information of my high school diploma and my college degree, they will either copy it, Photoshop it, and pretend that that's their own diploma. Like I said, they're plagiarizing, they're cheating, they're stealing, and they never suffer the consequences if nobody ever told on them. Because they always do stupid shit. The private school in Yonkers, without the names, without the people, they always do stupid shit and never suffer the consequences. That's why I needed to get the fuck out of that school so I could go to regular high school. For three reasons. Number one, I'm not special ed, I'm regular ed. Regular educated student. Number two, my high school recommend, recommendation letter got mixed up with another student. So technically another student from my middle school was supposed to go to that private school that I went, mistakenly. And number three, I'm a smart student, I have a good IQ. I don't know what's my IQ number, but if I ever plan on going to other colleges or other universities in the future, I'll be able to find out what is my IQ and I will lovely to share it with you guys what is my IQ test, my IQ number, to see if I have fully intelligence when it comes to school educational learning. Okay, you guys, like I said before, if you find this video satisfying, comment down my YouTube channel and subscribe. Congratulate me for 120th YouTube video episode. I'm just so happy and fortunate and doing the right things in life, listening to my family and friends in order to survive and stick to the script. Do the right thing, do the right thing, and be consistent. Stick to that script for Justin Television. 
So you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down my YouTube channel and subscribe. And when was your first YouTube video content creator? When was your first YouTube video built? Like in the back in the day, because like I said in my previous video, YouTube was established in the year 2006. That's when YouTube was established and then many people started doing their videos in 2006 because YouTube was established in 2006. Somewhere between July through October in 2006, that's when YouTube started to establish in the year 2006. And I wasn't aware at that time, so I started doing YouTube years during my college years. During my college years, I was doing YouTube during my college years, not high school years. I mean, when I was in high school, YouTube was still there. YouTube was still there during my high school years because technically I was supposed to start high school in the year 2007 and graduate 2011. But like I told you about the mistake, the mistake of being in that dumbass private school as a mistake. So I had to start high school a little bit late in the year 2009 and graduated in the year 2013. But no worries, you guys, no worries. I still got myself the Regents High School Diploma. I still got it. It's a good thing I didn't got the IEP. I got the Regents because I took the Regents examinations when I was in high school. I took math, social studies, and English. I was supposed, technically all high school students, in my opinion, all high school students is supposed to take at least four or five regions examinations, not just three. It has to be either four or five regions examinations to all high school students, to all high school students. But in my case, I only took three because like I said to my sister and her husband, we had this conversation the other day about my high school years. I told them I got the regions diploma. I only took three regions exams in my case. I was supposed to take, like I said, all high school students must take at least four or five regents exams in order to get the regents diploma. But in my case, I only took three because one of the classes I was super smart, intelligent, and I was getting straight A's between science and living environment. So those two regents was not given to me because of my grades, because I was getting straight A's for science and living environment. So the three regents that I took was math, social studies, and ELA. And all three of them, guess what? P. P stands for past proficient. Okay, you guys, if you find this video satisfying, comment down my YouTube channel and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is my 120th celebration for the past five years. I'm seriously happy, consistently happy. Just, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down this channel and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I have more upcoming videos, I promise you guys. A serious, consistent, hard worker like me, who always does the right thing, will keep on working and staying consistent. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down my channel and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. See you guys next time.